video is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome to South India. Tonight, you're going to be sleeping on the backwaters right here in Corella on a houseboat. <laughs> oh, wow. This is crazy. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess, Hunter and Baby Koa, a travelling family from Australia. Really, we're just here for the food. So let's see if we can make it back before the rain. Or is it going to be another Thailand? Let's uh, bring you along this adventure through the backwaters of India. But to get here, we had to fly in from the chaos of Delhi after saying goodbye to all our expeditioners and headed down to Cochin. There we paid a random taxi driver to drive us two hours to the backwaters of Karela. So welcome to Kochi everybody, uh, we are about an hour away from the airport and it's another two hours away to get to the backwaters to go. Uh, on our houseboat, just keep that in mind. mind. Look at this. Um, our driver's just pulled over, um, kind of just trusting him to take us out today. And he literally just said, you need to uh, hop on a ferry for a shortcut. And this is the ferry over here. Awesome start for our trip. Hey everybody, and welcome back to India and coming to check out a brand new area. We've come to the south, and we're going to be living on this houseboat for the next day. We're on Cameron. Alrighty, jumping onto our houseboat for the next 24 hours. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers, everybody. Oh, this Cheers. Is a nice little oh, what a unique dock. Just pulled up on the side, and then look at the plants and reeds we're going through. This gives you guys a bit of a hint on what our boat looks like. Alrighty guys, let's uh, bring you along this adventure through the backwaters of India. <laughs> oh wow, this is crazy. This is so nice. I feel like I want to open the window up. Oh, how nice are the windows? Should we go find Albert? Yeah. Let's go. Come on, baby, baby, next to Cleo. Maybe next to Cleo. Should we go see? Let's go look. Oh, this is so nice. Here you go, Hunter. Wow. Next to Cleo. Yeah, we're next to Cleo. How cool is that? Oh, the rooms are so big. <laughs> I was lost on a road, heading nowhere without you. <laughs> I was gonna help me. No All right, we've only been on for what? Three minutes and I'm already the one driving. <laughs> oh, how am I going? Right. Right? Is left, the, right, right is left? Look at the head. Okay. It's going to then, then okay. Right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cleo, Try we're gonna back. crash maybe. <laughs> I'm having narrow boat flashbacks, Cleo. <laughs> Hold yourself. I think I've got the hang of it. Oh no, Jess, you're gonna flash back. Watch. Let me come in. I'm trying. I've got this. I've got this. No, we're gonna go this way. Whoa. We're gonna go this way. More. More this way. Go, Hunter. Yeah, Hunter. Who's the captain? Me. We should have brought our captain hat. Oh, <laughs> oh we're going to leave now. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the captain? Him or you? I'm me. And I'm the co captain. <laughs> I think Where? I need to see some crocodiles that way. Should we Where? go that way? No. All right, I'm back on the wheel again. What would you do without me? As you guys seem to know, we only take one specific person on a very specific trip, if it's a tiny space or on a boat. Who's joining us? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm the <a> captain. <laughs> Why do I hold on? We just love doing boat journeys as it slows us right down where we can take a moment to relax and watch the world go by. presented our first meal here in South India and first of all the presentation wow second of all we're having all these different flavors styles of food here we've got our main dish of rice with like a potato curry in front of me and we're just asking how's the best way to consume this because this is very different to back home I taste my food while I've got a Mr. Koa monster on me he always tries to steal all my food dude 
Yum. Mm, yum. Is it like a potato curry? Yeah, sambal. Ah, sambal. Yeah. And then how are you meant to eat it? Just like mix it all together? Yeah, first you can eat and sambal like, yeah, then little bit little bit. So you have like a little bit yeah, of yeah. each thing. Yeah. Wow. So I have some of the potato curry. Absolutely delicious. And then you can work your way onto... A little bit. A little bit. And then you hop between. So, of course, I'm stuffing my face in front of you guys, but... Mm, my favourite. You can go for that. And then the clear smash the radish. What? Are you like two years old? <laughs> <laughs> you know Are you meant to mix it all up? I don't know, but it, it's so good. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it coming. I'm literally like a grandma yeah, who's good. like, you've not eaten in so long. <laughs> Almost yeah. lost my plane. <laughs> I'm excited to be here in India. Jess. The food's the best bit. I was just literally what I was about to say. Um, the site's the amazing. Here, the people so, so friendly. Yeah. But we're all really we're just here for the food because yeah. it's the rice? one place in the world where like the local Indian food tastes infinitely better. Uh -huh, they're trying to order here. butter chicken back home. And also like in <laughs> every area of India, all the food tastes so different. <laughs> There you go. Nana's coming. Oh. I love the bananas. <laughs> oh no, someone's eating my phone. I didn't want to call on your Nana phone, not, not the Papa Dom phone. Not the Papa Dom phone? No. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Oh, hi. Who's there? Oh, I'm the Wink Leo. Sorry. Goodbye. Oh, hello, Cleo. Hello. Glad you're here. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, Glad you're here. Oh, hello, Cleo. Glad you're here. Oh, Papa. Indian food, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. I'm sorry, my wife's thumbs up. <laughs> oh, she's there. I feel like in Corella they eat so many little little tastes of everything. And Hunter, look at this. Sometimes you get a papa dump and you can do it at all. Skippy. Jippy scoop. I like the cabbage coconut thing. Which is one's this? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Are we on a boat? Is our house moving on the water? See all the houses all along. And there's just like all these rice fields. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I was like, I want to try it, Dad. So, I don't know what the local name is, but I he feel said like, it's. Is it a dessert? Oh, it's hot. Yeah, he said it's really hot. It's like vermicelli noodles in, in milk. milk. That's what. Please let us know in the comments what the what the name is. Oh yeah, it is vermicelli that is noodles. Interesting. I mean, we have what milk pudding? Yeah, but it's like noodles. Is it oh, sweet? that's so nice. Is it? Is it sweet or savoury? This is a, a, a parry dessert. <laughs> this is not a Valentine dessert. I won't like, like it. Oh, you've got to give it no, a try. I'm too scared. No, no, it's, no, it's nice. It's nice. Look, show them it. It's noodles in hot milk. Yeah. It's, and you like it's, it. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's sweet. Well, yeah. Cool. I'm scared. Uh, I don't know. It's a parry dessert. I have to Google it. Don't you like it, Lonnie? Try it. Okay, I know, I know, I know. That's why I'm going to try it, just yeah, for you. But are you going to try it too? No. What? <laughs> All right, let me try. <laughs> oh. oh. It's like, um, you know how you would have make rice pudding? I don't like, like that one. I like oh, Hunter, you'll like it. It's sweet. Point. It's like rice pudding, but instead of rice, it's oh. noodles. I'm too good. I've like never it. had. Hunter, it's like dessert. No, no. Dessert oh, noo noos. Don't, don't have to like it as long, long as, as you try, try it. it. Don't have to like it as long as you try it. Interesting texture because you're drinking dessert noodles. Just a, a, a fish comes in. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> it's like sweet, <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. sweet milk. So you guys are probably wondering what we're doing on this boat and why these houseboats are here in the south of India. A couple of fun facts for you guys. These houseboats, they were first constructed in 3000 BC like 500 years before the pyramids were built and these were used to transport goods around this part like the little area we're currently in it feeds into 10 different rivers so they could get the bounty from around the area and transport it and what was great about these houseboats is 
they could hold 30 tons, they were over 100 feet long, and they could have the different rooms for cooking, for sleeping. Of course, since 5,000 years ago, uh, they have evolved into quite nice looking houseboats. And uh, even though they're primarily used for tourism, they are still very much used today to move people, goods, everything around the backwaters. But let's give you guys a tour of our home. So interesting going from our canal boats, if you saw that in our UK series, of course, Cleo joined us for the captaining, captaineering, piloting of the boat was up at the back. However, our captain here is right at the front. I can see why. This boat is huge. Let's walk you guys inside. I guess so now we'll show you what one of these boats looks like. I feel like this has been on our bucket list for so long. We're finally doing it. I think back in 2019 when we were here, we actually tried to come and stay on the backwaters, but it isn't the season. So if you are booking, make sure you check and make sure it isn't the rainy season because you don't want to be here in a boat. Actually, I think the season starts 1st October. That might help, but anyway, here is our boat. So this actually has five rooms. So you could sleep, they said 15 people, but 10 people comfortably. And right in the front of the boat, right behind the captain is, we're calling this the tea room. So we can come, chill, drink tea, have some coffee. It's air conned, very lovely. So down here is the hallway with the bedrooms. There's five bedrooms, we're using two of them. And I think every single bedroom has a bathroom, which is nice. So come on down. This is the room that we're staying, but Hunter and Cleo are currently playing in this. So I'll, have, I'll show you guys Cleo's room. So coming on in. I actually haven't even used, looked at the bathroom yet. Nice. I need to poke my head in. Ooh. Oh, whoa, it's like a full on shower. I wasn't expecting that. It's like a full shower, glass doors, way bigger than I was expecting. I was thinking it was going to be this tiny room with like a shower over the toilet. Like the ones in Komodo. This yeah. Is more luxurious. So you got like a full glass shower, you've got a working toilet. I think it's one of those toilets where it is flushable, but you can't put toilet paper down there. So it is kind of like a marine toilet. And then it looks like every room has a double bed and I like how they presented it with little swan towels. But I think the best bit is how big the windows are. So you can just sit here in again in the air con and look out over the waters. It is so beautiful. It just looks like the coastline is just covered. Coconut palm trees and you just keep seeing other boats passing by. Yeah, it's a very peaceful experience, I would say. Um, the canal boat when I was driving was a very peaceful experience. <laughs> What are you doing? See, so, and then the hallway is just still lined with bedrooms. See, bedroom three, bedroom four, blah, blah, blah. And the last room, I think, is the most important room on the boat because this here is the kitchen where they just cooked up our lunch. And I think they're going to be cooking our dinner tonight. Now, I wonder if this is the quarters where the staff sleep. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. maybe. But then coming upstairs, so it's a two decked boat. Oh, yeah, and if you're wondering who we booked with, Spice Roots Luxury Cruises. So then this is the top deck, and I don't know why they have so many, so many chairs, because it's definitely more than 15 up here. So this is where you um, eat, hang out. There's a bathroom up here as well. I see they've got a TV. This is where we just had lunch. And then along the side, they have all these comfortable little couches. So you can sit up here, look at the view as you pass by. But I think my favorite bit up here is that in the front of the ship on the top, they have a whole balcony that you can hang out. And I think for sunrise and sunset, this is where we're gonna be. And yeah, that is a quick tour of our houseboat here on the backwaters of Corella. I love you like the summer loves the sun. Right here, I love you like the winter loves the drop. No. Now come out of the open kind of area lake into more of the thinner backwaters and what we're really seeing is more of the lake and also a lot of rice terraces out here. So we're looking around just past here there's a lot of rice terraces where of course they feed uh, a billion people. <laughs> it's honestly just so peaceful out here. We are going at such a crawl just down the backwaters. It's so nice and the sun uh, has gone down a bit. It's cooled the place down a lot. Yeah, just going through here, it's just such a relaxing start. It's so funny because we've done India before, been to Delhi, the chaos of Delhi, but this is just a nice, smoother way to introduce yourself to India. Alrighty, Hunter's decided because this upper stairs is uh, so big, we're doing running races. Hey, 
Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying our final part in our India series down here south in Kerala. We just want to quickly say a massive thank you to Squarespace, our longtime friends and partners of the channel for sponsoring this video. If you guys are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform. We can easily put together a website or blog. They've had incredible new updates to the platform like the Fluid Engine, which makes it so easy to drag and drop, build a website. Plus, if you're an entrepreneur, you're wanting to sell courses or eBooks, they have a whole entire new section for that as well. Definitely worth checking out if you are new make sure you check out the free trial you can just have a play around plus if you want to sign up 10% off your first order thanks so much guys I hope you enjoy the rest of the video Wanna Ooh, try? yes I'll try oh I've never had this before oh it's hot mm. yeah that's good is it just banana or is yep. it like yeah it's just banana oh is it yeah I think it's just banana Yo, good with you. Ooh, it's great that's all I gotta say <laughs> the afternoon. Um, Jess is um, holding down for a nap and it sounds like she's put herself down for a nap. No man, it's been like deep fried and something. <laughs> mm. Such a sweet treat. Yum. Hello bud. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good So Cora and I just woke up from a little nap and the sun has just started to set. I've noticed all the birds have started coming out and I've noticed bats starting to come out from the trees but it looks like we're trying to find a little place to park up for the night, but this little spot, so stunning, just greenery, nature. You're seeing all the people coming out. Like I see someone right now, they're washing their clothes or just living their lives. I see people bathing themselves, some are washing their clothes, some are washing their pots and pans. I feel like this river is used for so many different things and all these people, I guess that's why they live right on the river because I'm sure this river is such an important part of their life. But yeah, incredible. Alrighty, looks like we found our spot for the night. Exploring Hunter, come on. It looks so beautiful at this time of day, doesn't it? The mm -hmm. boat, absolutely gorgeous. And also shows us how big of a behemoth we are. It is such a big boat. We kind of, when we checked in, uh, we just saw the front because we were like stacked next to them. We haven't seen the side yet. <laughs> hey, we have that boat. Yeah, that's our boat that we're on. All these little steps leading into the water for the locals to have access. Look here, I see all these people bathing, they're washing their clothes. We're currently walking uh, through a village that is built on the side of these backwaters. I mean, hey million dollar view right like it is so beautiful out here oh look here there's a buffalo there steve oh, wow. so we've now come out for a walk uh, through the community and uh, we see uh, where they're making their livelihood this would be all the rice terraces out here there's a buffalo out there looks like it's been recently cut harvest but two days ago got harvest this place is known for its rain and it seems like in the day it's lovely blue skies and then at night storms keep rolling in and we're just going for a walk and suddenly there are flashes of light and we just see this huge, it's almost a Jane, James and the Giant Beast dog. You hear it? Yeah, look, it's the rain's coming right over. It looks like the James and the Giant Pea, the rhino cloud. It looks like that. So let's see if we can make it back before the rain or is it going to be another Thailand? Will we get stuck in the rain in India? No, not another Thailand. Let's get me with the boat is so close. Good morning, everyone. We've just woken up to another beautiful day here in Corella. Last night we were right. It was stormy, it was wet. But again, as we said, in the daytime, the sun comes back out, so nice. You wouldn't think, I don't know, preconceived notions of India, but you wouldn't think there would be this beautiful tropical paradise down here like but, this. Yeah, I think because we've only done the north before and it was so dry, we're here. It is, it's like a tropical paradise down here. There's like <laughs> coconut trees everywhere. Hunter and I spotted some bananas growing this morning on the tree outside. And I, uh, uh, we kind of walked past the kitchen. I had to poke my head in because like something smells. I was like something smells so delicious as I was walking past the kitchen to come upstairs. And I poked my head in and I saw they were making some traditional South Indian breakfast. Um, and it's maybe just extra hungry. I'm about to be covered in watermelon juice. <laughs> yeah, try this. This is super traditional here. They like the you know, breaks from it's in. Okay. <laughs> 
And that concludes our time here on the backwaters of Corella. This guy's just passed out from eating way too much watermelon. So make sure you hit subscribe because the brand new series starts next week in paradise.